Trans rights warrior. Trans warrior. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do, let's go. That's that trans rights energy. Let's I love that. Back. Mad respect to it. And we're gonna start off on PS2. PS2. Yeah, PS2, baby. I love it. Definitely love this stage for Greninja because Greninja definitely has a lot more chance to just jump around avoid a lot of stuff in neutral and being able to play neutral just overall is one of the best things that Greninja has, especially on this stage. You know, just making sure that um, Greninja can maneuver around a lot of what Wario has is going to be the most important thing in this matchup and not having too much to deal with bike. Bike can be one of the scariest things for, um, you know, a lot of like people who play against Wario. Other than Walk, you know, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I feel like you know, a lot of uh, Wario's big combos are like maybe like a landing air or up air aren't really going to be hitting. Well, maybe Nair might, but landing up airs are not really going to be hitting Ninja that much. Very small, very agile. He, ooh, that Will Smith taking him straight out of the mat, take, straight out of the, the arena. Absolutely. Yeah. First stock taken, and I definitely love the the way that you know Manel is playing around this, just kind of taking advantage of the way that Tiger is playing, um, you know, neutral, not playing it to the best of his ability, but you know, it it's can like, definitely. Mm -hmm. He's hopping around a lot, and oh, ah, very important to punish, very important to punish. Oh, um, but yeah, he's hopping around a lot, and just like trying to force Munal to like trying to catch him all jumping, but the way Munal's playing, he's staying either behind his bike or just stu uh, stuffly out of his brain. Absolutely, and the thing about this is that, you know, Greninja definitely does need to jump around because his jump is really good since he does have a really good um, fall speed too. It's just, you need to have it with a lot more intention and just being able to make sure you get those confirmed. You just hit those things that you really need to hit. And if you're not doing that, you're not really, you know, using your tools to the best of your advantage, so. Like, one thing I'm not seeing a lot is, like, I'm not seeing Water Shirt can come out at all. He's really just, like, choosing to box out with Moon L. And he needs to probably, like, try to, like, stop his movement, because Water's movement is pretty good, despite him being, as, you know, far as he is. Mm -hmm. And oh. his airspeed is definitely really good, too. Yeah, he's, he's moving like he's moving through water, super buoyant. Oh, he is locked on deck right now. He's looking super scary for Tigre. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Munel was, was actually going to say that. I wouldn't be surprised if he uses it right there because, you know, he's up three stocks. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if, you know, that he just used it. So, yeah, I don't, see, I don't think, I think Watts is probably a little bit harder to hit on Greninja because of his hitbox. Could have, just like, you know, his character hitbox. Uh, because I've watched uh, some Warriors come to Hong Kong and fight my boy Jay Grun. Very, very rarely he gets uh, killed by the sweet spot of Watts. Got me super, super precise. Finally seeing a lot of Shuriken come out. And now we're just kind of sitting back. Moon really with no need to approach. And El Tigre is just, I said El Tigre. A Tigre is just swinging right now. Finally getting a stock off. All this really needs to be for Moonell is just a waiting game, but that down tilt into dash attack isn't going to kill just entirely yet. Only needs one good, you know, back air, maybe a good, you know, dash attack to actually take this game. Mm -hmm. oh, but speaking of back air, he needs to be super careful about how he goes about this. He does not want to lose his second stock and potentially lose the game. Yeah. And right now, t has a little bit of momentum. He's building up damage. Ooh, it's a little up smash. Just has solid damage off. Oh, the death stack? I yeah. Just barely killed him. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Taking off that last stop was definitely what Munel needed. And honestly, Keep I... my wife's name out your mouth. Sorry, right, Will Smith. <laughs> Will, Will Smith? Same thing. Oh, God. I don't know about English today. <laughs> English is a hard subject. Yeah, Let me tell you. Listen, listen. We speak the language, but it doesn't mean we study it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't know why they make English so hard, because it does not need to be as hard as it, it is. It really doesn't. It's super complicated. We got words that sound the same, though, spelled differently, and mean the different things, and it's really annoying. Mm -hmm. Very annoying language. That's what I call English. Absolutely. But we are going to town and city. You know, this is definitely really good, especially for Greninja. Again, a lot more space to play around. But, you know, as we saw in that first game, Tigre wasn't really doing too much with the space that he was given and actually being able to use it and convert into a lot of the stuff that he needs to. It's more of just, you know, Munal just starting his combo stars and being able to put on a lot of damage and take off the stocks that he needs to. Yeah. Very, 
very good on the no, I'm just going to say. It's probably like, uh, I want to see more water shirts just come off the TV. Just like, hang back a little bit, not needing to go in at all. Well, it's not as much as he has been going in. Hang back a little bit, force water to come to you, and then just like, stuff him out with maybe like a down tilt, like a space down tilt or a forward air or something. And now, um, just hitting that just less. Very nice um, mix-up option from Tigre because, for the most part, he hasn't really been mixing up his, a, lot of his, a lot of his options when getting off a ledge. So being able to mix it up just allowed him to live a little bit longer because, as we know about Wario, Wario definitely has really good, you know, ledge trapping capabilities. Absolutely. He just does things, especially with that F2. Oh, look at that down here, too, poking right through the ledge. Mm -hmm. right, but that dash tag is absolutely going to take it. Netting Munel the first stock of the game. Been following it up? No. Nope. Munel still able to live. Coming through with the bike. And just paving through uh, Tigre's uh, Tigre Ezra to catch. There we go. Munel has been kind of a landlord on the ledge. Just forcing, forcing uh, Tigre to just stay there and just pay that rent. Pay me the rent. Give me your percent, bro. Absolutely. I definitely feel like, you know, Tigre definitely just needs to maybe stay a little bit more grounded. He doesn't have to always jump. You know, jumps do need to be a little bit more intentional and just being able to kind of just maneuver around, especially on the ground too. Staying grounded is probably one of the best things just in this game overall. I'm not allowed when you have a character like it. Did he just... What? What? And he's doing that too? What's going on here? Oh my god. Took his walk, <laughs> grabbed him, and killed him. What's right going on here? Walk. That was nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's that, that, that's, a, that's like a lot of cojones. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. That was a little scary. I, I listen. He's a stronger man. He's a stronger man. Stronger man than me. Because I would not have even attempted that. Uh, back here in neutral. Um, want to go back to what you're saying about the jumping stuff? It is kind of, It takes a lot of discipline not to jump around when you have a character like a ninja. Uh, he gets a lot of his like not his biggest damage from jumping, but a lot of his it's like core game that involves around him being hard to catch in the air. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about like whenever you talk about like a lot of neutral aspects in this game, you know, jumping, doing anything super committal is, is like small as jumping can let, like, you know, net you a lot of damage and not even the best, you know, disadvantage whenever you do get um, jumps. But ooh. nope, no bike, no bike. A little bit confusing, but not sure what happened there. Even stuff now, and Tigre is looking probably to probably trying to make a big lead out of this, but not Muno has anything to say about it. Love the way Muno is just playing around him, bro. It's like a ninja who's the one we see doing the stuffing. Not today. Wario is uh, always where a ninja wants to be. Ooh, ooh, hitting him out of the bike too. Very nice. I honestly feel like, ooh, like. Tigre is also having a little bit of hard time just keeping Unel in disadvantage. You know, that's kind of one of the biggest showcases he's been having from this entire game overall, other than starting advantage. Yeah. You know, if you don't have one or the other, then that just makes it, you know, a little bit hard to know, like, where you're really struggling at. Kind of catch like an air dodge or something, but that F2 will do it. Serving up some frog legs to go into the... I don't know. Go the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, smack him out of the legs. Very nice on Munel's part. Just taking this in the quickest of fashions. Absolutely. A little bit of a, you know, a few missteps, you know, just a little bit of a few SDs mm. and whatnot, but still was able to take that game pretty Indeed. well. One thing I want to just see if he, uh, if he can pull that off is the uh, him catching him right out of the waft. I think mm -hmm. that was uh, the second stock. Yeah, no, the first one he got right here. Look at it. Mm. Oh, wow. He said, yoink, you fart on me what's going on here not gonna happen baby the wario nerfs are a sham They're bro a your water is oh, spilling shit. everywhere <laughs> oh, you want to talk to chat really quick oh the eggman okay, thing so the, the only reason that greninja can grab me there out of that is because wario's not waft got work got nerfed by like four frames so like that is like greninja can't grab me if he decides to grab there um he gets hit pre-patch um current patch cuts minus two um, current patch, yeah, he, he can grab me out of it. So, uh, the, uh, the Wario nerfs are a sham, and he should never gotten nerfed. Oh, look at that's, that. that's all, folks. Uh, yeah. Love that. Love that. <laughs> coming in, providing, providing the, uh, the insight. 
Well, at least it's not carpet. Crazy. At least it's not carpet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Yoink. Oh, wow. Oh, oh we got to see my boy Nintendo up next versus yeah. Sonic Fe 